allowing an external service through the SmoothWall firewall. Firewall services in the SmoothWall are located in Network, Firewall, Firewall Rules. Firewall rules are organized in sections. Rules can be created in a current section, or it's possible to create a new section of your choosing. Click Add Section and enter a logical name for the types of rules you intend to organize within it. The section will be created when you choose Save Changes. Hovering over the new section reveals options to add a new section, rename a section, delete a section, or add a rule. You may choose to add rules to the top or bottom of the section if it already contains other rules. The Rule Creation pop-up in the SmoothWall Firewall contains all of the configuration options for a rule. Any of the fields that you do not populate will default to apply to any, or all in other words. In this example, we will allow an email server to communicate from an internal network to the internet on SMTP using port 25. Enter a name for the new rule that will help to logically identify it in the rule list. Here we will enter SMTP outbound. It's important to create a rule that only allows the chosen email server to send. Be sure that the rule only applies to the chosen service to preserve security. If a user were to get a virus on their system which sends email maliciously, it is important to have blocked others from sending the emails directly. The source IP addresses list contains any addresses you have already configured, as well as some internal rules, making it possible to select all internal networks or DNS servers. If you need a new address object, it's possible to do this here. Created objects will be available for future use with other rules. Click on Create and choose either New Address Object or New Address Object Group. Enter a logical name. Here we will use email servers, so we are able to identify this object easily in the future. If you have more than one email server, this would allow you to identify each one readily. In the address field, you can enter a single IP, a range of IPs, or an IP address subnet. Clicking the question mark shows the format styles to use. Many applications use proprietary port numbers for their services. There are also standards for basic services such as email, SMTP, DNS, and HTTP that use set port numbers typically below 1024. There is also an option to add a comment. When you are done, click Add Item and the object will be created and available to be selected as a source IP address. Click Include to add it to the rule. Inbound interfaces allow you to choose all external or internal interfaces or the specific interface if you know it. The destination IP address can be left as any, depending on how your service is configured. For example, the email server may be sending emails directly to recipient servers. In the example case, all emails are sent to the email provider's smart relay before being sent to recipients. It's therefore possible to be very specific and only allow the emails to go to the provider's server. As before, it's possible to create a new object for the destination entering the address provided by the ISP for the Smart Relay. When it appears, we include it as before. Outbound Interfaces allows you to select the appropriate external interfaces which are assigned as part of your SmoothWall setup. The rule can be restricted by services type and there are a range of standard services available. You can scroll through these or type in the box to search the list. For this email service, both SMTP and the secure version of SMTPS are available. We will choose SMTP. If the service you require is not listed, again, the service object can be created by entering a name, protocol, and the port numbers. In the Applications or Apps section, you are able to select applications which you desire to block at Layer 7. This utilizes SmoothWall's Layer 7 Deep Packet Inspection to reject types of traffic. 
you will need a Layer 7 license to view the full applications list. These app lists may only be used in a block rule, so no selection is needed in a firewall allow rule. Within groups, you may limit the firewall rule to apply to only one group, either a default group or one you have specified. We want this email rule to apply to all, and so we leave the field blank. You can see that any appears by default in the rule if no specific option is selected. The action is the action you want the rule to undertake for the options you've just defined. See our video, Changing the Outgoing Rule in the Smoothwall Firewall, for an explanation of firewall rule actions. In this example, we will select Accept to allow the email traffic. Ticking the log tick box includes the rule within the firewall logs. This can be helpful to check that the rule you just created is operating as you expect. There's an option to add a comment to your rule. Click Save Changes and the rule will be created. The clear view allows you to see the configuration. We can see that this is a rule for email servers, the destination IP, outbound interfaces, and that the traffic will be accepted. The firewall applies the rules from top to bottom, and so it is vital to ensure that your rules allowing traffic are above the rules blocking by default, or they will not work. If necessary, drag the rule or section higher or lower on the firewall and click Save. 